Hey, good morning. Welcome to my curls. We're going to talk about makeup today. Makeup for ladies with gray hair. And I have the gray hair. I've been going gray for, I guess it's almost a year and a half. I'm about, I probably have six months left on the gray hair. A lot of you all asked me about my makeup. Have I changed my makeup routine since I have gray hair? Have I changed my colors? Is it okay to wear eyeshadow with like gl glitter in it or does it need to be a matte eyeshadow? And to be honest, when I made the decision to stop coloring my hair, I told my husband for Christmas I wanted an appointment with a lady here in our town that's a professional um, makeup artist. And I wanted to go in and have her show me how to alter my makeup because I was gonna have gray hair. I thought that I needed to change what I was doing. And then as time rolled around and I started getting grayer and grayer, I realized that I did not need to change my makeup routine. I continue to this day to use the same makeup, the same foundation, the same eyeshadow. I use everything that I love and I'm actually a little more adventurous with my eyeshadow colors. I am loving pinks, in my eyeshadows, bronzes, brighter colors. I wear what I like, I wear what makes me happy, um, and it all in the end just kind of goes with my gray hair. So I guess I'm, I'm here to say that I didn't have to alter anything. I love a little bit of shimmer on my eyes and a little bit of shimmer on my lips, and I love some rosy cheeks. I wanna feel vibrant and alive, and so I love a little bit of rosy cheeks. So. I'm headed out today. It is Valentine's Day, y'all. It is freezing cold. It is 14 degrees here. That is not okay with me. I've got on a turtleneck. I'm going to have on my coat. And so I'm going to show you all my makeup routine and explain how I put on my makeup, the products I use, and why I like them from start to finish. So let's get going. Today. So I took a shower, I washed my hair this morning, I have lots of running around to do, so I gotta get out of the house. So I have a clean, bare face, and I'm gonna put my makeup on for you and just kind of explain to you what I do. So let me start by saying that since I've gone gray, I really have not changed my makeup routine. Um, I, I had in my head, when I started going gray, that I was gonna have to start wearing matte eyeshadow or change my eyeshadow colors to like darker gray colors. I don't know why I thought that, but now that I have all of this gray hair, there is no way that I'm gonna put on dark gray eyeshadow. I would look horrible, so I actually find that I'm using brighter eyeshadow, some pinks and some coppers, which I'll show to you all when we, when we get going. But I'm gonna be wearing a black turtleneck sweater today because it is freezing cold outside. So I'm just gonna go with the neutral face. And I don't use expensive makeup, I just don't. A lot of the stuff I use, I can just buy at the drugstore. There are a couple items that I like a brand name. I like to pay more for those things and we'll get into that throughout the video. But let's get going. So this is just my clean, natural face. And I've got my makeup mirror here in front of me. I love this makeup mirror. This thing rocks. It has four levels of lights. It has a magnifying side, it has a regular side, and it's always on my vanity. I love this little mirror. But let's get going. I don't use any concealer. None of that stuff, y'all, I just don't. So my foundation is from Tarte. It's a Tarte foundation. And it is a Amazonian clay full coverage powder foundation. And I have a liquid. I just change back and forth. It depends on my mood or the weather. But I'm really loving this Tarte foundation. And it comes with this little bamboo brush. And you just pop it in here and see it gets on your brush. Just kind of shake it off. And I want to be very careful not to get this on my hair. And if my hair was not clean, if I hadn't just had a shower and fixed my hair, um, if it was like second day hair, I would have a headband on to protect my hair. And I did a whole video about that, which I'll link it right up here. But since my hair is down and it's clean and fresh, I'm not going to put a headband on and mess up my hair. So I'm just going to be very careful. 
not to get it on my hair. And I just kind of rub it around. And it's weird because even though it is a powder, it is a full coverage powder. This is some fantastic foundation. I love it in the summer because it doesn't run or make me hot. I feel like liquid foundation in the summer just makes me hot. I don't like it. But I've been wearing this for a couple years. And I love the way it looks and feels on my face. So I'm just kind of rubbing it in everywhere. And I will take a little dab and just run it down on my neck. I am really bad about right here not getting sun on my neck because if I'm outside, I'm reading a book or I've got my head down. We just got back from our vacation in Puerto Vallarta, so I had two weeks in the sunshine. So I am tan for winter, but still, this part of my neck is always white. So I just kind of run a little, run a little foundation down there. Okay, and for those of y'all interested, I am wearing a medium neutral in the Tarte Amazonian Clay. I love a fun blush. I like cheeks. I do not want dark sunken in cheeks. I want bright rosy cheeks. And I love this Tarte um, blush. This is my absolute favorite. I'm using a color called Natural Beauty. And when you open this thing up, you're like, whoa, look at that pink. But I love this. And I just take my little brush and just right here. That's all. Just on the little balls of my cheeks. I just love a little bit of color. And then I have my MAC Warm Soul. Warm Soul. And it looks like that. And I blend it with my brush. I blend this in. So I go all the way back to my cheekbone and I get a little bit of that that's on my cheek and I just kind of blend it in. And this warm soul just sort of brings me to life. But I love having the little pop of color right here on the front of my cheeks. It makes me happy to do that. Okay, done. There is my foundation and blush. Nothing super fancy. The next thing I'm gonna do are my eyes. I use a Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. I just find this, this really makes a difference in the staying power of my eyeshadow. And it comes out kinda like that. Y'all, my tube is almost empty. Be just, I mean, I'm talking just a dab and I just put it, put it on my eyes. I feel like it gives my eyes a dry canvas to start out with, and it makes the eyeshadow, when I put it on, just really adhere to this behind the scenes, and it stays all day long. So today is Valentine's Day. I'm going out to dinner with my hubby, and it's eight o'clock in the morning right now. So when I put my makeup on, it is gonna be like this until I go to bed. I'm not gonna have to touch it up. The makeup that I use is really good about staying put. Okay, so the rock behind the scenes eyeshadow primer, fantastic stuff. Today, because I am gonna wear a black turtleneck, I'm just gonna go with something fun and neutral. This is my go-to Urban Decay Naked Palette. This is the Cherry Palette. Looks like that. Look how fun those are. I love this palette. I love all of the Naked Palettes. You can see, guys, look at the shimmer in here. That is what I'm gonna use. I always put on shimmery makeup. It is beyond me why women with gray hair think that they have to use matte makeup. Anytime I have ever tried to play with or put on matte eyeshadow, when I stand back and look at myself, I just, I feel sunken in. It is not me. Um, 
I like the shimmer. I don't know if it's right or wrong with my gray hair or at my age, I'm 48, but I'm doing what I want to. I like shimmery eyeshadow, so that is exactly what I'm gonna wear. I have three eyeshadow brushes, and I'm gonna use this kind of flat one here, and it actually came in one of my naked palettes. And that's one of the cool things about all the naked palettes. You get a, you get a brush in them, and I use those brushes. So I'm gonna use four colors today. I'm gonna use Caution, which is gonna be my base color that's all over my eye. Then I'm gonna use Turn On and Ambitious for my like highlight color. I don't know what you call them. It's the, the main color on my lid. And then I'm using Bang Bang, this pink color kinda in here. Okay, here we go. So Cautious, the light color. I just am gonna put a light coat all over my eye. It is nothing more than a than a base color. Nothing fancy. Just look, see, you can't even see it. It's just a base. Then I'm gonna take my angled brush. See that? The angle. And I'm gonna put it in turn on. And y'all, I don't know if this is right or wrong. This is just how I apply my makeup. Um, so yeah, let's just get to it. So I put it from the middle of my eye over to the edge. And I go all the way up with the bottom of my eyebrow. I just come right out here. And it's like I'm filling in that triangle. all the way to the edge of my brow. Do the other side. Now, see this fat, round, fluffy end? I'm just gonna blend it a little bit to get rid of any stark definition. I just blend it in. And then I'm gonna take, this is the fun color. Then I'm gonna take this one, Ambitious. And I know it looks scary in the palette, but I promise it's really not. Take a little bit of Ambitious, and I just put it right in the center. And then again, take my round end and just blend it in. That's it. Okay, now I'm gonna take a, a wide kind of fat brush and that pink color I showed you, the bang bang, it goes right in the bottom and all the way up to my lid. I like eyeshadow completely up to my eyebrow. And when, I, and when you first put it on, you're like, whoa, that's some eyeshadow. But I promise we're gonna blend it in Okay, then back to my little blending brush and I just blend everything in. That's all, that is all I'm doing. Then, one of the reasons I love the Urban Decay Naked Palettes is because their eyeshadow does not have fallout, meaning when I put it on, it's not gonna fall all over my face. I have found that cheaper eyeshadows have really bad fallout and I end up with sparkles all over my, my cheekbones, which I cannot stand. But the Urban Decay eyeshadow really does not have fallout, but all I do now that my eyeshadow is on is I take a little Q-tip and I just make sure that I don't have any fallout. Whoops which I really don't. Just, just a little double check. Okay, next thing are my eyebrows. And I've told you all how important eyebrows are to me. When I don't have just a little something in my eyebrows, I just feel 
washed out, I guess, because I, my eyebrows are kind of thin right in here, and I just like to give them a little bit of definition. So I used an Anastasia. It is called Chocolate and it looks like that inside. There's two colors, and you, and you can tell that I I use the dark. I, well, it's mainly because when I had colored hair, I primarily used the dark side. But now that I'm going gray, I blend these two colors together. It's the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo, and then I have their her brow brush, which has an angled end, a very sharp angled end, and then a little brushy comb on the other end. So. I'm just going to give my eyebrows a little brush and I get my eyebrows threaded every couple of months and I did a whole video on that. I'll link it right up here if you all want to see it, but it's about, um, I don't pluck my brows. I don't wax my brows. I never have. I get them threaded. So I'm going to take my two colors and I just kind of dab my brush in both colors. Just dab, just a teeny, teeny, teeny. And then don't get up close in the mirror when you do your brows. If you do, you're going to put on too much brow powder, and then you're going to stand back and your brows are going to be these huge, dark eyebrows, which you don't want. So stand a natural length from the mirror, and I just very lightly, very, very lightly fill in so that I have a continuous brow ever, ever so lightly. There is nothing worse than seeing a woman who has overdone her eyebrows. You don't want them to look like they've been drawn on your face. Then I'm just going to take my little brush one more time. And I just kind of brush them up. That's it. That's my brows. Next. I like eyeliner. It makes my eyes stand out. When I don't have on eyeliner, I feel like I look weak the best way for me to describe it, weak. Like my eyes look tired when I don't have on eyeliner. And so I use a L'Oreal, really hard to see. This is just a drugstore brand, L'Oreal. It's called L'Oreal Pencil Perfect Eyeliner. But it rolls up, you don't have to sharpen it. And I'm just gonna line the top of my eye. So I'm gonna get in my mirror right here. I'm not going crazy. I'm not doing a cat eye. I'm not 20 years old. Can't pull that off. But it's just a little bit of eyeliner. Right at the top of my eye. Nothing dramatic, but it just makes my eyes stand out. Thin. Last thing, y'all, is my eyelashes. I, I curl my eyelashes. Honestly, I don't know if this helps or not. Like, I, I don't know, but I do it. So, curl my eyelashes. <laughs> Randy hates to be in here when I'm doing this because he said it just freaks him out. But I curl my lash. And then I use another drugstore brand mascara. Again, L'Oreal voluminous lash paradise and i use it in black i am not gonna go and pay 35 or 40 dollars for some mask for mascara it is not happening i have tried all different kinds of drugstore mascara and this voluminous lash paradise just does what i like it kind of spreads my eyelashes out it makes them darker and fuller which is what i want so i just lightly kind of do my eyes I put a dab on the bottom. I don't draw the bottom lashes through. It's just, just, just a little dab. I just got it all over me. Then do the next eye. Do y'all use an eyelash curler? Like, does it really do anything? I don't know. Oh, 
oh, gray hair in my eye. Woo! That's my eyes. And then the very last thing I do is put on some lipstick or some colored lip gloss. Today, I'm just, I'm doing a bunch of errands and so I'm just gonna put on a colored lip gloss. This is an Anastasia lip gloss. This is called, oh my gosh. I think it's called San Tropez. I think it's really, really small. And I'm just gonna put on a little blue lip gloss. It's just an, kind of an iridescent lip gloss. I do not and have never liked matte lipstick. My daughters wear matte lipsticks and just the thought of it like drives me crazy to know that my lips are gonna be dry. I have to have a lip gloss. I love lip gloss with shine. I like sticky lip gloss. And this one is pretty good. It's not my absolute favorite, but it's pretty good. I like the colors that this one comes in and it has a little iridescent look. So, y'all, that is it. That is my makeup for the day. And actually, that's my makeup for every day. I don't do anything different if I'm going out to a fancy dinner versus if I'm just going to the grocery store. This is my makeup routine. And if you want my opinion, and it is strictly my opinion, ladies who have gray hair, do whatever you want. Do what makes you feel good. That is what makeup is about making yourself feel good, enhancing the features that you want to enhance and not enhancing the features that you don't like about yourself. Now, there's one thing I don't like about myself and I've just started noticing it in the past couple years. Look right here. I'm getting wrinkles. I've, I've never noticed wrinkles. I really don't even care about wrinkles. I know that I have some on my face. It's fine. I'm getting older. I'm gonna get wrinkles. But this, right in here, I think it's from squinting because my eyesight has gotten worse the past couple years and I just recently got glasses. So I really think I have squint lines. Look at that. That's not really cool. And those are starting to bother me. So anyway, I don't alter my makeup because I have gray hair. I use the makeup that I love. I use the colors that I enjoy and that I really want to wear. I don't care what anybody else thinks. Um, I like natural, I like fun, I like bright, and I like vibrant. So that is my makeup routine. I hope you all have enjoyed watching me put on my makeup. It's a little weird to have you all in the bathroom with me, to be honest, but if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, guys. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel, Welcome to My Curls, where we talk about everything that has to do with getting older and having gray hair. It's Valentine's, I gotta get my sweater on. I got to get going. There is a bakery here in our town that makes the best Valentine cookies, and I have to get there before they're gone. So I'll see you later.